Canada's relationship with China when we have the world leader like China confronting Canada's prime minister? Well, like I said, I was not there, so I just But saw you've the seen first... it, you've read it. What do you make of that confrontation? Well, listen, again, you would have to ask someone who was there to, to, uh, to assess what was there. But what I saw, at least my take, is the prime minister uh, speaking clearly and loudly uh, about, uh, you know, making sure that Canada's interests are, are well uh, registered uh, by the Chinese leadership. That's what I saw when I saw the image of the Prime Minister, is him making the case for Canada and saying what is unacceptable. What I'm pleased about is that the Prime Minister uh, standing up, as he always does for Canada, and, and standing up for our position and saying that, as I've seen in the press report, that we won't tolerate these so type of things you, with you respect talk about, to interference. You talk about industrial espionage being an issue, but what about the issue of Chinese, China infiltrating our democracy? I mean, in terms of, you know, the Prime Minister was standing up about meddling in our elections. Don't yeah. you think greater vigilance is required on the part of the government to address that and to disclose what actually happened? Well, certainly we'll have to, to look into that and, and get to the, to the bottom of this. And I think, I think Canadians uh, have all seen that the Prime Minister is standing up and, and saying what is unacceptable. And certainly for the rest, uh, there'll be... Um, certainly measures to be taken to make sure that this uh, does not happen again. And, and I think the, the bottom line of that is more vigilance. I mean, we're, we see these events coming up, not just in Canada. That's not just a Canadian issue. We see that around the world, and, and I think we need to interact with eyes wide open. That's what I would say.